guy's coming in hot. Why are you taping the RFPs? I'm asking you, why are you taping the RFPs? What's your name? Why are you taping the RFPs? My name is on my chest. Why are you taping the RFPs? How do you pronounce that? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. And don't look at me like that. Why does it matter? Why are you taping the RFPs? Why does it matter? Why are you taping the RFPs, I'm asking? Why is your body cam not You're not on? supposed to do that. Why is your body cam not You on? have a camera for me. How about that? Put your body cam on if you want to make Don't concept. worry about that. So photography's a crime? Absolutely, yes. All right. Have a good okay. night. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. And today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel, Good Guy Otis. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. Today, we will spotlight the NYPD yet again. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how this one turns out. It's definitely not a good thing when an officer comes out of the academy, becomes a corporal or a sergeant or a lieutenant, and probably even chief, and they've never learned the law. They've never learned the rights that they're supposed to be protecting. This is what we're gonna see. An officer with strikes has no clue of what the law is, but that's not surprising. But what is surprising is his confessions on camera. Not gonna say too much, let's jump into this video. Please don't touch me, stop I'm trying to move me. You. I'm on the sidewalk, bro, leave me alone. I'm not touching you, you're on the sidewalk in the prison line. Okay. And you're not allowed to. Look at this line, you're honest. Stop touching me, please move away from me. Move away. You gotta move away right now. You gotta move away right now. I'm telling you, you cannot tape police cars. I'm on the side. Stop blocking my movement. I am. Why are you? Am I detained? It's a police. It's a am police. Am I detained? No, not right now. Are you high or something? You drunk? Why are no, you all the way up here? Why are you all the way up here? Because I'm tall. Bring it down. De-escalate. Because I'm tall. De-escalate. You are videotaping L -O -L. police. L-O-L. You are videotaping police cars. You're not allowed to. So just brace yourself for a lot of cop explaining and a lot of ignorance. This is exactly how this conversation is about to go. What crime is that? It is a crime. What crime? You're not allowed to. What crime is it? It's not. A, it's the, you're not allowed to. You don't know what the plain view doctrine is? Don't worry about that. In the United States, the plain view doctrine is an exception to the Fourth Amendment's warrant requirement that allows an officer to seize evidence and contraband that are found in plain view during a lawful observation. For the plain view doctrine to apply for discoveries, the three-prong Horton test requires that, one, the officer is lawfully present at the place where the evidence can be plainly viewed, two, the officer has a lawful right of access to the object, and three, the incriminating character of the object is immediately apparent. And if you're unfamiliar with what the three-prong Horton test is, it is the three things that the Supreme Court state that you must have in order for the plain view doctrine to be valid. And it comes from the Supreme Court case of Horton v. California. In the case of Horton v. California, the court held that the seizure of evidence in plain view does not constitute the invasion of privacy that the Fourth Amendment is meant to prohibit. Since we all have to follow the same law, in this instance, what applies to police officers also applies to us, the plain view doctrine. Got nothing to do with you. Why are you trying to intimidate me, bro? You think, I'm not intimidating you. Think you think I came to you. the precinct? I'm telling you. You think I came I to the precinct you, to record the cars because I didn't know what I, I don't know what you're doing. I don't doing. know what I'm doing. I don't know what, I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm exercising my rights that you so swore to protect. Your rights. Your rights. you swore to protect. Correct. It's not for you. So why are you trying to violate to my rights? Take, I'm not violating your rights. I'm not violating your rights. You're being I'm not violating your rights. Right now. You are. Okay. Are you trying to tell me even and, how close you stand to me? I'm on the sidewalk. And, okay. So what's your problem? I'm just telling you, don't videotape. What is your problem? If you videotape the RMPs, you're going to get arrested. I can videotape right. whatever the fuck I want. We'll whatever I want, bro. We'll you think I care? What you gonna, what, what are you going to arrest me for? Huh? What are you going to arrest me for? For videotaping police. So photography is a crime. Absolutely yes. So photography is a crime. Absolutely yes. You wow. Know that. You know that. You wow. Before, Not for yes? photography. For the same thing. And what for happened? And thing. what happened? I don't care. Dismissed. You're gonna get arrested again. And I'm gonna sue you again. That's fine. You can sue me again. You, you think I care? You, you think I come here because I'm scared of y'all? Do you think I care? You think I care to get arrested for disorderly you, conduct? I don't give a fuck. Nice. Asking. Okay. Asking. That's all you can do is ask. You can't tell me what to do. No, you can't. I'm not committing a crime, bro. Where's your, where's, your, where's, your, where's your supervisor? Let me speak I to your supervisor. Super no, I want to speak to your supervisor. Because clearly you don't know what you're doing. Give me two CCRB um, um, forms right now. Okay. Do your Are job. You Do your job. Give me a complaint form. Give me a complaint form so I can file a complaint on you. What the fuck is, what is complaint forms for? Complaint forms are to file complaints. Okay. So why are you asking me for what? About what? None of your business, bro. Exactly. Give me a complaint so form. Stop. 
Stop. Stop. Stop what? Exercising my rights that you swore to protect? What right? Freedom of the press. You have the freedom of the press. So why are you trying to stop me? I'm not stopping. I'm stopping you from, from videotaping what? police cars. You're saying don't videotape in public. That's what you're telling me. That's On camera, you're said. telling That's me. What so what are you saying? Don't videotape police cars. I can see them from the sidewalk. That's what are you not. talking about? OK. But don't videotape. I can videotape cars. whatever I can see from the sidewalk. You really don't know that? You really trying to violate my rights on I'm, camera? I'm violating your rights. You're telling me. You're telling, you're telling me to. to do something. What are you telling me not to do? I'm telling you. Do record in public. Don't record in public. These cars close by. You're telling me don't record in public. That's what that's you're telling what me. I just said you. That's basically you what you're saying. You so what are you saying, bro? That's fine. What crime am I committing, bro? You are videotaping police vehicles. What crime is that? I'm on the sidewalk. Your cars are on the sidewalk. Your cars are on the sidewalk. Terrorist. Yeah, absolutely. A terrorist could come, bro, anybody is out in, oh my God, you're giving me a, bro, like, are you serious? You come here your ignorance, your ignorance. Work. You interrupt my work and I'm giving you a headache? The First Amendment is interrupting your work? I didn't tell you to come outside. It's not even the First Amendment. I didn't tell you to come outside. Did I tell you to come outside and talk to me and stand that close and try to violate my rights? I'm not asking you to violate my rights. I'm asking you to respect your oath. Why would you record that? Whatever I can see from public, the sidewalk, I can record. I'm not damaging the vehicles. I'm not breaking into the vehicles because those are crimes. Correct. Right. Recording is not a crime. It's a constitutionally protected activity. Do you know who it's protected by? From who? It's supposed to be protected by you yeah. and you and everybody that works in that precinct yeah, sure. are supposed to protect my rights. So not come outside, you, stand like this in my face, try to intimidate me, try to bully me, pushing on me. You. you was. I'm you was. You. I'm asking you. Not to be the the police department. You asked me not to exercise my rights peacefully because I didn't say anything to you. To I didn't say anything to you either. I'm out here peaceful. You're coming here, I'm out you're here peacefully. Here, peacefully. Taking, taking very close pictures to the police Quietly department. and peacefully. I'm just, I just, I'm, I'm really like just trying to see if you can get your ego out the way. What's got to do There's with no you? crime here. Did I say there was a crime? You I said, said, oh, you're going to go to jail. If you videotape the cars again, you're going to jail. Well, going For to jail. what car? What crime? Further. Please tell me what crime. Don't worry about that. One time is right, probably we will. You guys already tried that? Yeah. And, Twice. And, and what? Right? Yeah. And I came, I'm still here, still yeah, checking up on, I'm, I'm checking up. OK. I, I didn't hear you. You want to say that louder? I need those complaint forms. I'm going to stand right here until you bring them to me, okay? And there you have it. A police officer with stripes who clearly states recording is a crime. Absolutely yes. And you will go to jail. Remember, folks, if the plain view doctrine is available for police officers, it's also available for us to use. We have rights. Learn those rights and always record the police. Never let them step on your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off. Want to learn your rights? Make sure you register for our online video course titled Surviving the Police. You will learn everything you need to know when it comes to protecting your rights against tyrannical cops. So make sure you visit wethepeopleuniversity.com and register today.